Oh, it was a, it was a bad feeling in you, but I know we came out, gave 100% effort. I know we messed up some plays in the first half and could have lost way worse, and then we lost the game. But we came out in battle when it came down to the last play of the game, so that's all you can ask for. I know we can come out on offense, clean up some things, and we'll continue to get better. Was USC better than you guys were expecting it to be? Not at all. We just self-inflicted wounds. No, just make sure we clean it up. We didn't have halves like this before. We just want to come back out, give 100% effort. We know if we come out, give 100% effort, that it'll be back to a close game. And we came out, made it close as possible. Aaron, what's it feel like now to, to know that that national championship return is, is out of the picture? I really wasn't thinking about the national championship. Maybe if we would have won after this game, would have been thinking about it, but. Wasn't really thinking about it going into this game. You think this game was that going to be that tough to where you didn't really want to think about it before this game? Oh yeah, we knew USC was going to come out and try to beat us like they did today, and we. I think our team was focused on USC. We wasn't focused on the big picture. Wasn't focused on last night. We was focused on coming out trying to win the game. Is there any reason you didn't use one of your three timeouts there earlier in the final minute to try and allow yourself a couple more shots at the end zone? Oh yeah, but that's that's on Coach Kelly. He's a he's a timeout guy. I didn't I really don't have no I didn't have no control. I mean I talk I can call timeouts when the clock is rolling down or something like that, but this game situation, my coach handled it the best way. Did you wish that you had used some timeouts earlier so you would have had some shots at the end zone instead of kind of setting for the field goal? Oh, we can all wish for a lot of things, but really can't do nothing about it. We, we practice clutch every day, moving the ball down there if we need three, take care of the ball to get three. If we need seven, we can go out and get seven, but we did everything we could, drive the ball down there. Wish we could have had a couple of more shots all day. Aaron, what were you hearing from your offensive line guys about the way USC's front was? They were, it seemed like they were getting in there. Oh, yeah, that's a big physical. Front. We knew that coming to the game that the battle was going to be up front and that we had to come out and we wanted to win the game. We just have to match their physicality. And that's what we couldn't do. Was it similar to or close to what you saw against like LSU and Auburn? Oh, yeah. They got big big guys, big athletic guys up front, big big guys that can make plays running, running people down. So hats off to SC. Pretty good speed and depth for a team who is on a two-year bowl ban and has already seen some and it's going to have some scholarship limitations coming up. Oh, yeah, those guys got a good team. I just hope they continue to get better. Hey, Darren, how key was it at the end of the first half you guys had possession and the start of the second half you didn't have possession? I think you came out with points at the end of one of those. And you guys have sort of made your reputation by scoring at the end of the half and at the start of the half. How, how key was that not to come away with points? Oh, it's very key. We got stopped both times. We got stopped going. We was in the red zone. We got stopped going into half. Got stopped on the first job coming out, but we just had to put some drives together. I think we put as much drives as we could together, made good plays, but it's a lot of mistakes that we got to clean up that was come from film. Darren, looking at that, how, how much importance is this civil war game? Not only is it a it's also for a chance to play for the national championship. Oh, it's one of the, that's the number one goal. That's the only goal right about now is just to come out Prepare for Oregon State. Be ready for Oregon State. You know Oregon State's going to come in. They've been doing great jobs the last two or three weeks, so they're going to come in and put up a fight. You know, we're not sleeping on Oregon State. We've got to come out, do what we got to do to get into the Pac-12 championship. Knowing that, knowing that there was a chance for you to play in the national championship, does the Rose Bowl almost become like a constellation prize? Not really at all, because it's still a BCS game. It's still is good. Hats off to our team in the season from losing the first game and rebounding off all this. So. BCS, I don't think a Rose Bowl is nothing, nothing just that we just blow away, don't want to do. Yeah, what's it say about the standards that's kind of been set around here? Oh, yeah, the standards is just pretty high. It's just when you lose a game, it's big. Out here, we have set the standards so high out here. When you lose a game, it's big, but we're going to be the best team at bouncing back from a loss. Obviously, the other teams play a big part in it, but is there a trend from your perspective when you guys take a long time to get rolling on what's going on? Oh, yeah, seven inflicted wounds really cost us the game today. Maybe misreads here and there, things like that, little things that we can clean up that we know we know what to do. Coaches put in our head the right things to do, so we just got to clean it up. Darren, the, the NBA guys pregame playing catch, the whole focus of the stadium while you guys were trying to warm up for the game was on LeBron and D-Wade and Carmelo. Did you notice that when you were out there?